Say a fond farewell to Derek and Rick. Uh, let's find out the next round that Kirk and Dave are going to be playing. It's the grand final. Let's peer inside Games Masters Yuletide Log. It is Christmas, and what a better way to finish than having a final playoff between the two leaders on the first snow level of Mario 64. The two co-commentators must race to the bottom of the perilous ice slide in the fastest time possible while trying, desperately, not to skid off to oblivion. Good luck. And so it all bows down to this final dramatic confrontation. Uh, with me in the commentary box for this Christmas special is Games Master presenter Mr Dominic Diamond. Welcome Dominic. Thank you very much Dominic. Now Dominic, at this point you usually ask the co-commentator an amusing question to start off. Well, I don't think there's any need for that tonight, is there? No, you are quite correct Dominic. Let's move on to the game. What tips have you got? Well, remember, it's a very tricky track here, Dominic. What I would do, I'd make sure you finish it because some of these turns are very tight indeed. Okay, thank you very much, Dominic. The challenge then is whoever can get to the bottom of the cool, cool mountain course in the quickest time will walk away with our special Christmas quiz joystick. If both competitors fall off, then whoever has managed to stay the longest on the course will win. Now, best of luck, guys. Off you go, Kirk. Okay, and off he goes then, and we're at the start of the slope here. This first turn is not terribly difficult there. Remember, you can uh, see things like the number of coins and all that on the screen. That's not important. All that matters is the time, and if he can get to the bottom. He has been going just now for 13, 14, 15 seconds now. It's a very good start, Dominic. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, yes, I definitely agree, Dominic. He's taking a nice and easy, but he's off there. He has lasted for 20 seconds. 20.65 to be precise. Kirk, please make way for Dave. Best of luck then, Dave. 20.65 seconds is the time to remain on the course. Your time begins now. And off Dave goes. Okay, he's down the slippery slope there. We're just coming up to the uh, first turn here. Again, now it is a tactic there, Dave. Some might say cowardly, some might say clever. He is literally staying on his bottom and trying to last long as he can. But I don't think it's one. He tried to play conservative. A good tactic, but he lasts for 13.35 seconds. That means Kirk Ewing is the winner. Yeah. OK, guys, uh, let's start with you, Kirk. Congratulations, first of all. Thank you. Interesting way you handled this quiz. Kirk, abysmal <laughs> at the start, from zero to hero at the end. I didn't even think that time was a very good time. No, it was a rotten time, let's be honest. Now, on to you, Dave. Um, now, you have, as you said, on the show, you are the greatest games player in Britain. What happened? What went wrong? Well, I think I've been set up fairly badly here today. Right. And in particular, what reason? I think having a final game where one player owns the game in the machine and one player doesn't isn't in the interests of fair play. Uh-huh. OK, then. So uh, what you're saying, Dave, is the biggest game of this year. You haven't played much. It's not released till next year. I'll play right. it next year when it's released in this okay, country. OK, you are a journalist. We can get it on import. Not a journalist. I'm a marketing manager. Right. OK, then. And you don't have a book coming out about, you know, games and anything like that? About, no? about beat em ups About beat em up games. So we're not seeing sour grapes at all here, Dave, is what you're trying to say. No, we're not. We're seeing somebody just saying he's been set up. OK, then. And on that... Bombshell! Let's award the Go to Games Master Joystick to the new Games Animal, Mr. Kirk Ewing! <laughs> okay, so from um, me and the mermaids and Rick and Derek. And uh, we'll shoot him again, Kurt and uh, even Dave. I'd like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. And I'd like to leave you with this question. Why do we only get one Christmas but five Nolan sisters? <laughs> Merry Christmas!